guys, it is Justin with Texas Magnolia Home. And on my channel, we do DIY projects, home decor hauls, and home renovation updates on our own personal fixer-upper here in South Texas. Now, in today's video, I'm going to give y'all a DIY stocking holder that is going to be perfect for the farmhouse or fixer-upper look that you might have going on in your house. This is perfect if you don't have a fireplace, as we don't. If you look right behind me, there is an entertainment center where this is going to go. It's going to look so cute, so amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. But if you were wondering why I didn't post a video last week, I created one. It was this huge Christmas decor shopping haul and I don't know guys I tried to upload it five separate times it would not upload I don't know what it is I can re-edit the video and post it just make sure to leave me a comment down below if that's something that you are interested in but yeah guys let's get on into this video Okay guys, first thing that you will need is some wood to create your base or box out of. Now I went to an antique shop or a salvage shop and I picked up this door trim. It's so beautiful. It's already white, chippy and distressed, which is perfect for the farmhouse look and is the exact look that I'm going for with this piece. Okay guys, so the next thing that you will need are these garland pieces that I picked up from at home last year for $12.99. I see these everywhere. They're great to shape. Now they're kind of smushed because they've been in a box in our attic but it's what I'm gonna use to create the center portion of this box piece then what I'll do later on is come in with ribbon and ornaments and different picks to really spruce it up and give it that elegant look okay guys so the last thing are these cute little hooks that I got from Amazon they're these little farmhouse hooks that will go alongside the box to hold all of our stockings and I think these came in a set of 10 I'll leave them linked down below as well as the Christmas decor haul where I showed this and a whole bunch of other great Christmas decor from this year but further enough guys let's get on into building this DIY stocking hole Okay guys, so the first thing is taking our measuring tape and cutting our first board, which is four feet across, of this door trim. Now once I cut this piece, I'm going to take it and place it on top of the next piece of door trim that I have, and I'm just gonna even it up and take a pin and mark it, that way it is the exact same size. Then I'll take my saw and cut it, then we'll go into the next step. Okay, now we are going to do our end pieces, which are going to be two 8-inch end pieces. And what I'll do is once I cut my first one, I'll repeat the process of sitting it on top of some spare wood and then cut it again. Now, once I cut these, I'm going to create four embellishment pieces to put on there. These are what you see right now, and they are four inches across. So I'll cut all four, and then we'll add them in later on to the box, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Now before putting our box together, I'm going to put my hooks on first. I'm going to start with the center hook, and then I'm also going to take a piece of wood to give enough spacing between the bottom of the box and whatever I set it on, and then we are going to go ahead and screw them in and working our way out. Okay, once you get all of your hooks put how you like them, then you're going to take your sideboard, line it up to your front board, creating this L. Now I'm using an electric nail gun, but you could use screws, you can hand nail it into there, you could even use brackets, whatever's easiest for you. The next thing I did was adding in my two front embellishment pieces, and from there we're going to do the back side. Now on the back side, you'll just want to line it up, put in your nail screws or whatever you're using, first and then put your embellishment pieces over that this part is really easy and yeah let's get on to the next part okay guys so now we have the box back inside and you know i set it on the table and i thought oh my gosh this would also make a really cute centerpiece that you could put on your dining room table but one modification i did make and it's going to save me as far as as much stuff as i need to fill in the box is i added a two by four down the center now what this is going to do is when i take my granary pieces i can sit it on on top and it makes the box seem so much more fuller so the order that we're gonna go into this is we're gonna get our greenery pieces exactly how we want them placed into the box then we'll jump over to the ribbon now the ribbon actually is the same ribbon and color scheme that we have going on on the Christmas tree that's right next to it then from there we're gonna add in these really cute twinkle lights that I got from Walmart I got two strands and we'll just intermix them into both sides and then I'll be able to hide the battery packs inside the box 
Then lastly is gonna be our accent pieces. So like the bulbs, the floral pieces, um, I have a little bit of uh, glam that I'm gonna add into this. But yeah, let's jump on into creating this stocking holder or centerpiece that any of you guys can make at home. Okay guys, so the first thing we are gonna do is take our greenery pieces and place them into the box. Now we want to uh, make sure that we shape them and it fits appropriately in the box. And so what I'm gonna do is basically come in here, set it in my box. Now there's a lot of pine cones in these picks and I really do like it, but I think for the center to have four big pine cones, it's just too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these out. Now, what I'm going to do here, and all they are is wired in, is I'm going to, if you guys notice, the center is right here and there's a little bit of overhang. So I'm just going to bend this back to fit my box appropriately. And I can just use the pieces, but wrap it around. So now that we have the appropriate size, I'm going to actually do the exact same thing with the other side and I'll start fluffing it and then we'll go into the ribbons. Okay, the next step in building this piece, once you've got your greenery all in place, is adding fun stuff like ribbon, accent pieces, lights. So we're gonna start with the ribbon, then once the ribbon's done, we'll do the lights, that way the lights don't get covered up, and then put in our accent pieces. Now this is the ribbon that we put on our tree. We have the snowflakes, Merry Christmas. So I wanted to find the same color scheme of ribbon, just a little bit smaller. So I found these at Michael's, they were 70% off. So I'm basically gonna go in, bounce it all throughout the piece, dovetail it, I might do some bows, and then I'll create places where I'll put my accent pieces like the different ornaments and picks. So once I start building this up, then we'll move over to the lights, then the accent pieces. But yeah, let's get on into building this piece. Okay guys, now I got all the ribbon in place and the reason it looks the way it does is because I kind of have a game plan on where I'm going to put my accent different pieces throughout this piece and that's why the ribbon is where it's at. Now, if you do notice, I dovetailed everything and I just like dovetailing because it makes it a little bit more elegant. Now, I left this side undone because I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do. All you have to do is fold your ribbon over, cut from the middle out, and just like that you can dovetail it now what this is all wired ribbon so i'll be able to shape it later so if you guys are wondering why the shaping is a little bit off it's because i got to get my accent pieces in first and then i'll go in and shape everything but yeah now that I have this done, I will go in and put in the lights. Okay, so the next step in this project are these twinkle lights that I picked up from Walmart. I have two sets and I'm gonna intertwine on both sides where when I can have one going in and out, the other one can go in and out and it will create like a twinkling effect. So I already have this strand undone and it's doubled up and I'm just gonna work it through the piece and just see what we can come up with. Okay, now that I have my ribbon and lights in, the last thing is my accent pieces. So I have some picks, some floral pieces, some ornaments that we're just gonna put in and build it and finish it out. And then I'll give you guys a grand reveal. <laughs> That is about it for this DIY stocking holder or centerpiece tutorial. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it and if you are gonna recreate it, what are you gonna do with it? Just let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.